The aim of the AFTB project is to improve the environmental credentials and the recyclability of timber structures. And we are doing this by reducing the use of adhesives and metallic fasteners where possible. By eliminating synthetic adhesives from our buildings uh, and the components of the buildings, it has a significant advantage at the end of life of the structure in that it greatly increases the potential to reuse and recycle the material and therefore contribute to the circular economy. The wood it is a very important resource, yeah? so we use this resource for many applications. There are a lot of different economies depending on the wood. AFTB stands for Adhesive-Free Timber Buildings. So the project is to develop adhesive-free engineered wood products like beams connected by compressed wood dials. An example that I have here shows a layered product um, where we have several layers that are connected together to produce a much larger size section. Connections will be long metallic, purely connected by compressed wood plates and dials. So for example, we can see this piece of timber here, when subject to thermal compression, densifies to give you this much denser, stronger and stiffer material. We try to make use of spring back of the compressed wood because what we try to achieve is tighter fit. The wood which has been pre-compressed wants to recover its original shape over time. Our experimental tests have shown that when we compare an equivalent steel connection to our compressed wood dowel, that the compressed wood dowel can achieve 80% of the steel connection capacity. We've looked at characterising the materials. and This has allowed us to develop more sophisticated numerical models to optimise the performance. And then in the final stage, we have tested large-scale components. The whole idea of doing this structural and material characterization testing was to know the behaviour of this material because this material is new to the industry. I think this technology will appeal to a lot of people who are environmentally conscious about what they build and how they build. There's been a, a large drive over the last 20 years or so with new technology, which is not a bad thing, but what, what seems to have been forgotten is, is the old ways of doing stuff. Manufacturers have to be interested in the research you're doing, otherwise maybe the research will be lost. And in order to um, interest manufacturers, you need customers. So in addition to all the testing and the research, this project has also delivered three demonstrator structures. This office that we're sitting in in Ness Gardens near Liverpool, a warehouse in northeastern France, and an engineering art installation at University in Dresden. It's really important for this project, for its impact, that we allow the general public and stakeholders to visit these buildings, to see that they're realistic, they're safe, and that they can be approved by regulators for construction in the countries where you might want to build one. In the framework of this project, we have clearly demonstrated using experiments, but also uh, numerical modeling that uh, connections uh, using uh, compressed wood dowels behaves and uh, withstand fires better than, than steel connection. Some of the most significant benefits about utilizing timbers in our structures is that we not only um, store carbon within our structures, we also offset the use of more carbon intensive materials such as steel and concrete. I'm very passionate about it because I feel we are solving a major problem and tackling the issue of climate change. Architects will always build in wood. The question then is how big is the contribution yeah, to sustainability? And I want this contribution uh, to be as big as possible. People pay much, much more attention, you know, increasingly pay more attention about sustainability, about environmental protection about re recyclability, reusability. I mean, this, this you know, AFTB project actually addresses all those issues.